In this video, I'm out in the Marada community in San Antonio, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of three new construction homes that are ready to go. So if you like home tours, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan, and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. So if you're thinking about making a move, reach out, I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. All right, so today I'm out in actually the west bay section of marada this is a gated section of the community i have a client out here that's building so i was out here this morning filming a uh an actual lot that he was trying to decide on since he's out of state and they have three new construction homes or their quick move-ins they're all pretty much ready to go so i'm gonna film those and show them to you and let me just real quick show you right here so this is the the mailboxes are right there your gated entrance is right there so without talking let's start right, the tour so this one is the verona model it is a five bedroom four bath 35 18 square feet three car garage obviously brand new the current price on this one is eight hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred and forty two dollars there is an HOA fee of $241 per month. That includes your um, access to the lagoon. This part is a little bit more expensive for the HOA because it is in a gated community. And I'll pan around, as I pan around, I'll show you the gate is straight ahead right there. Bottle home is across the way. But that HOA fee includes your uh, cable and UltraFi Wi-Fi, 500 megabits per second. Obviously, like I said, the lagoon access, gated community. This one, you do have your paver driveway, nice stone on the exterior, paver walkway as well. So when you come up, you have your covered entrance here, real high ceiling there. All right, let's go inside. Let me know what you think about this one. All right, so when we come in the front door, you have your wood-like tile running all through. To the right, right here, you're gonna have your flex room with your French doors with the glass fronts. And this is pre-wired for an overhead light. There's no fixture in here. So some of these rooms are pre-wired, so it's gonna be a little bit darker in these because as you saw outside, it's kind of overcast because we were dodging showers all morning. All right, so continuing on, this is going to lead out to your three-car garage. You do have your epoxy flooring. And I know some people mention in some of my videos about the concrete cracking. Look, they have the, the scores in the the concrete here um, obviously with pavers as a driveway you don't do that but just wanted to point that out a little fun all right and you'll go as we go through here you'll see this one's pretty much ready to go there may just be a couple minor you know, things that need to be touched up coming on in to the family room and the kitchen check out that massive island you have the gray cabinets the quartz countertops and then almost like a picnic table style um, action here. So you can throw some benches there uh, or obviously additional prep area, but you have the, the light fixture there for the kind of like the dining room area. But ton of cabinet space, lots of cabinets, nice tile backsplash there. It is an electric um, cooktop there. And then in the island, you have your undermount single basin, stainless steel sink, stainless steel dishwasher, your oven and a microwave combo there, just need a refrigerator. And then your pantry is gonna be right here. And then you have, you know, several can lights throughout the ceiling. You also have pre-wires there for some, um, pendant lighting over the island. 
This is gonna be your family room slash living room. As you can see, there is power in the floor there. And then you had these huge sliding glass doors. I think these were the 18 um, foot, but they collapse onto each other. You know how that works, but it opens up completely. But we will come back to that All right, in a so minute. Continuing on, let's hit this little section, then we'll go upstairs. So you have a door for access to the uh, lanai there. There is a bathroom here. You have your quartz countertops, your gray cabinets, your shower here. And then there is a first floor bedroom. This one has a pre-wire for overhead light. And then you have the walk-in closet over here. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at that. So you have your nice white wood spindles there, the darker railing. All right, so when we come to the top, let's go to the right first. We'll just work our way down here and then come back. So down here on the end, it's going to be bedroom number two. This one is pre-wired for an overhead light. You have the two windows here overlooking the backyard and pond. And then your closet here, nice size closet with the double doors. Coming out of there, bathroom number two. Same cabinets, countertops. This has the tile around the shower and tub combo. Continuing on, you have a second story laundry room with your laundry tub there, and then your washer and dryer would go right there. All right, continuing on, bedroom number three. This one is pre-wired for an overhead light as well. Got your three windows in the back right there for some additional light. And then you have your walk-in closet right here. This one is attached to a Jack and Jill bath. So we come in from this, you have your separate vanities with your cabinets in the center there. And then the toilet here. Obviously you'd want to put some blinds or curtains there. Then your tub and shower combo. And then the second vanity right there. Coming out of here, going to go into bedroom number three. You do have a little window seating in this one. And it is pre-wired for an overhead light. And then this also has a window out over the that front entrance. This would be cool if you could actually, you know, walk out there kind of thing, almost like a you know, have a balcony. And then walk-in closet on this one as well. All right, coming out of this bedroom, going straight, you have this massive loft with several can lights above, also pre-wired there for a ceiling fan, but nice size loft here. And then behind those doors are obviously gonna be your air handlers. All right, and here we go, the master suite. You have your French doors here. Let's go to the left, show you the, the bedroom part first, then we'll go into the bath. But you have your five windows in here. It is pre-wired for an overhead light, but you got a view of the backyard. You can see your tile roof there, the pond. All right, so let's go into the bathroom. You come in here, you have separate vanities as well on this one. So 
vanity number one there. And then your walk-in shower, nice size. I'll show you what this looks like. And you do have a bench. I just, one thing I wish it had was a, like a little niche or something in here to, you know, store some shampoo bottles, whatever, but obviously you can put them along the, the ledge there or on the bench. And then you have your big soaker tub here. Vanity number two. And then your toilet area there. And then here is your walk-in closet. All right, so that's gonna do it for the upstairs. Let's go downstairs, take a look at this covered lanai, and then I'll show you the backyard. All right, so when you come out, you have this extended lanai that goes the pretty much the width of the house covered lanai here you have what it, three can lights two pre-wires for ceiling fans and then obviously if you open this up i don't want to do that right now because there's some you know, bugs back here i don't want to let all those get into the house but then here's your door to go into the bathroom there and then backyard you have irrigation front and back and then the cranes here I'm gonna come back here and show you the the yard, but hopefully they don't go crazy on me. Sometimes they're a little crazy. Sometimes they're pretty cool and don't don't worry about anybody. But this is your view here. As you can see, it goes back a little bit. You have your landscaping there. And then here is the back view of this property. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll see right, you at the so next this one. This one is the Biscayne 2 model. It is a four bedroom, four bath, 3138 square feet, three car garage, currently listed at $900,418. Same HOA fee and all that stuff as the last one. Let me pan around and show you what it looks like. There's the one that we just left. All right, let's go inside and take a look at this one. All of these have the tile roofs, the stone, paver driveways, walkways. All right, let's go inside right, and so take a look. Come in this one, you have the wood-like tile floor, your tray ceilings, nice tall ceilings. Let's go over here to the left. First, you're gonna have Bedroom number one right here. This is pre-wired for an overhead light. Then your double doors on the closet. And then a bathroom number one, the white cabinets, quartz countertops. And then your walk-in shower there. Continuing on, right here to the left is your flex room. You have your French doors here with the glass. It is pre-wired for an overhead light, as you can see, and your tray ceilings. But a nice size flex room. Okay, let's go this way. So right over here is going to be your laundry room. And then behind the door, you're gonna have your laundry sink. And then right out here is going to go to your three car garage. You have your epoxy on the floor. So coming in out of the garage and the laundry room and turning right, continuing on, you're going to have a linen closet right here. 
Bedroom number two right here that's pre-wired for an overhead light. You have your closet with the double doors. And then bathroom number two. Same white cabinets, quartz countertops, your tile around the shower and tub combo goes all the way up to the ceiling. All right, so let's go up the stairs here. Then we'll come back down, finish the kitchen and the first floor master. All right, so when you come up to the top of the stairs, to the left, you're gonna have bedroom number three, pre-wired for an overhead light as well. And then you have your double closet. It's all connected, but you have your two entrances to the closet. Continuing on, right here to the right is going to be your air handler. And then here is your loft, family room, slash game room. You have four can lights and then one pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And then a bathroom number three. All right, let's go downstairs. All right, so coming on in to your kitchen, you have your white cabinets, quartz countertops, same kind of big island with this extension part right here as the last one. Tons of counter space, tons of cabinets. Your tile backsplash. This one has a farmhouse farm style sink. Your stainless steel appliances. And then your pantry here. And then here is your family room slash living room. Check out those beams, coffered ceiling. That's pretty nice. And then this will be your dining area right here. And these are the 24 foot sliding glass doors. And then your master bedroom suite is going to be over here. So this one's pre-wired as well. You have a tray ceiling. There is a door here to access the covered lanai. Nice size bedroom. Coming on down the hall, you have two closets, one to the right and one to the left. Two walk-in closets. Nice eight foot doors. All right. And then into the bathroom, your dual vanity. I would have liked to see a little backsplash here, but that's something easy that you could you know, do. Check out this shower. Nice walk-in shower here. Got your rain shower head above. The bench in the back. And then you have a, a linen closet right there. And then your toilet right there. All right, let's go outside and take a look at this couple of lanai in the backyard, just go out the bedroom. All right, so covered lanai, this one only has the two cans in it. And as you can see here at the end, it is plumbed for an outdoor kitchen, if you wanted to do that. All right, there. And then here is the backyard. Let's walk this way, because looks like the grass just got cut. And 
We're going to track in all those grass clippings since it's kind of wet out here since it just rained this morning. All right, so here is the view from this lot. The model home is right there. And then this is the back view of this property. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and I'll right, see you so the next one. This is one. the same model as the first one, the Verona five bedroom, four bath, 3518 square feet, three car garage. This one is $885,679. Pan around, I'll show you what it looks like on this side. We're two houses down from the last property. All right, let's go inside and uh, take a look at this one. So this one has the wood-like tile floor as well. And there is a employee in here working, so we may see him. But you have your flex room here. And this is the same exact layout as the first one, just a couple different uh, finishes and upgrades. This one's a little bit darker of a theme. So you have your three car garage. As you can see the cabinets here, you have the, the darker cabinets. Pantry there, nice white tile backsplash, kind of breaks it up nicely. And then the family room slash living room, you do have the power in the floor there. Let's go upstairs and then we'll come back down Carpet, a little different color on this one. It's not gray, it's kind of the, the tan. All right, when you come up and turn to the right, you're gonna have your loft here. Nice size loft, the three windows looking out over the backyard and the pond. Air handlers behind those double doors there. And we'll do the uh, master suite on this one first since on this side of the, and the gentleman's working on the other side. So this one also is pre-wired for light above. Different color tile on the floor in here. Obviously the different color cabinets, quartz countertops. And then I'll show you the shower. It's different color tile in the shower. Still have the bench in here. And then your soaker tub. And I know I'm going a little bit faster on this particular model because we've already shown it. Really only differences. A couple upgrades, a couple different colors. I like how you had the little bench here sit you know, in front of the window and still wished this was an actual balcony. That'd be pretty cool to go hang out in that front uh, entrance. All right, and here's the Jack and Jill bath. Same layout, just different color cabinets, different hardware. All right. And 
here is the laundry room and he's working in the the bathroom next to this so we may not go in there and then the last bedroom yeah i'm not gonna get in his way but same color cabinets as all the other ones that's gonna be it for the upstairs. And then coming down the stairs to the right, right here, you're gonna have that first floor bedroom. It is pre wired for an overhead light. And then you're walking a closet here. And then let's go out this door to the lanai. So you come out here, you have your long extended lanai with the three can lights, the two pre-wires for ceiling fans. And this is also plumbed for an outdoor kitchen right there. And then this is what the backyard looks like. I am not walking over there because it's a little swampy. So let me pan around back here, get try to get you a view of the back of this property. And that's going to do it for this one. So let me know what you think about this in the right, comments. So this builder actually has uh, pool packages that you can also do. This pool here, uh, pool, spa, pavers, pool cage, all the good stuff, waterfall. This package is $127,000. Um, I think they start like 105. If you don't want the spa, it saves around 9,000. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. But until next video, take care.